When I say the word autism, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Probably, imagine people with little motion, aggressive, with mental retired, or brilliant minds doing repetitive behaviors, for example, spinning plates, or rocking back and forth continually. But the autism is much more than stereoty stereotype in it I was placed. And this is what I will show you we focus on childhood autism. Nowadays, it's denominated as Autism Spectrum Disorder ASD. It's called Spectrum because it's a framework that includes a series of aspects of childhood development that are manifested in higher or laser degree. The ASD includes three levels by Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorder, DSM-5. The level 3 is associated to the classical autism and is the best known. In this level, there is a commitment in the areas of interaction. There are challenges with social skills and communication, behaviors and uncommon interests. There is a significant linguistic delay besides of significant cognitive deficit, and it can also present intellectual deficiencies. The level 2 is associated to the autism with high functioning and Asperger's syndrome and is the most balanced way of autism. Their carers can express themselves through speech and are very intelligent. They are above the average of the population. Their symptoms are most imperceptible and can be mistaken for shyness, lack of attention and eccentricity. The level 1 is associated to a perversive development disorder not otherwise specified, PDDNOS. People who are on the spectrum but don't fully meet the criteria for another ASD, such as the classical autism and the Asperger's syndrome. But generally, the carrier has minor symptoms and lighter than those autistic disturbs. The symptoms can cause just social, social and communication challenges. The main characteristics of ASD in children are related to social interaction, where they may not respond to eye contact and smile or avoid eye contact. Don't participate in interactive games, it's different to like a empathy and can treat people as if they were they think. They may have repetitive and stereotyped, stereotyped behaviors like jumping, shaking hands, or swinging. They have limited interest in specific themes or toys. Other main characteristic is about the language, where the autistics cannot initiate or maintain a social conversation they develop slow language or don't develop. They repeat words or memorize passengers, such as the commercials. And the last main characteristic is about the response to sensory information, where the person with autism has hearing, touch, smell, vision, and test enlarged or diminished. They may find normal painful noises and cover ears with their hands. They can avoid physical contact because it's too stimulated or oppressive. So, the diagnostic should be the most precoce possible before three years. Because that's a disease, the brain is very plastic. If the child is born with unfavorable adaptive predisposition, their first three three years are the best time to solve these difficulties. The experts confirm that this is the way to obtain the best therapeutic result. Parents are the first to notice that their child is showing unusual behaviors like I described before. After it's making a medical evolution, involving a multidisciplinary teams of doctors, including a, ped a pediatrician, a psychologist, a language pathologist, 
as an incubational therapist. So, what's the cause? We know that there is no cause of autism, but research suggests that autism develops from a combination of genetical and non-genetical factors. In accordance with the American Medical Association, the chance of a child developing autism because of genetical is 50%, and the other half corresponds to external factors. In relation to the external factors that may contribute to the onset of the disorder are air pollution, complications through pregnancy, virus infection, and the mercury contamination. It's very important to point out that scientists have conducted extensive research over the last two decades to determine any link if there is any link between childhood vaccination and autism. The results of this research are clear. Vaccines do not cause autism. The American Academy of Pediatri Pediatrics, Pediatrics has compiled a comprehensive list of this research. Other important question in relation to autism is if there is a curve. The autism has no curve. The only tratament that can be followed always depending on the level of the patient with ASD is the special education and the individualized and permanent dedication of the school and the family. The therapy is an option although results are scarce because the cognitive and the language that make it hard. There are some interesting numbers I'd like to mention about autism. The, center, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevent estimate autism prevalence as 1 in 59 children in the United States. Boys are four times likely to be diagnosed with ASD. Certain medical and mental health issues frequently come with autism. They include gastrointestinal disorder, seizures, sleep disturbs, attention deficit, hyperactive disorder, anxiety and phobias. The World Health Organization estimates that 1% of the world's population has ASD. For conclusion, I want to pass you a lesson besides the academic. Each child with ASD is unique. So it's impossible to generalize, but society created stereotypes, spread various myths about the matter, where between the ignorance often leading to rejection of the individual in their social environment, school environment, and even family environment. We must combat this problem. It's necessary to spread the theme in a clear and easy way to make people understand. We, sh we should use all means of communication. There must be lectures in schools with the participation of parents, teachers and the students. It's necessary to create and disseminate health worker courses, specializations, where they learn to identify and deal with the individual with autism. And finally, the awareness of society that autism is a disorder of neurodevelopment and it's necessary to understand, to accept and above all to support every person with autism. Talking about information about autism, I made this stat. I hope that each of you have learned a little more about it and, uh, and that from now on you could have a great understanding about the autistic and their world. Thank you all and especially my mom who is a neuropsychologist and was of great importance for collecting and review data. Besides, Besides giving me the ability, ability 
to see beyond the superficial and to respect the difference. Thanks, mom. So, real problems need real solutions. The autism is a real situation and it needs to be discussed because the only solution for the ignorance about it is the information. Thanks.